Now this video is going to focus specifically on replacement of the burr in your Baratza grinder. If you're thinking about upgrading, such as going from the Baratza M3 to the Baratza M2 burr in your Baratza grinder, check out our other videos for information about why you may or may not want to do that. First step is safety first. Make sure that your grinder is unplugged. Remember, safety first is very important, especially when doing this step. The next step is make sure that your grinder is clean. Get all the beans out from the hopper, get them out from the grounds collection container. If you have beans left in the hopper, you can run your grinder to run the rest of those beans through it. You could use a vacuum to get them out. Anything to make sure that you don't have beans left in the hopper. Don't replicate my mistake, everybody. You've all seen it on this channel before, which is leaving beans in the hopper, turning it and taking it off while there's beans there, and then getting coffee everywhere and spending a bunch of time cleaning up don't be like Brian. Step three, gently turn your beans hopper counterclockwise to remove it from your grinder. You'll want to turn the bean hopper indicator all the way to about the number 40, and then you'll be able to remove it. Next, we'll remove the gasket from inside the grinder and the inner ring burr. Next, we will loosen the wing nut that is inside of the Baratza Encore. If you have a Baratza Virtuoso, you can skip this step because it won't have the wing nut. Now, removing the burr from your Baratza grinder is going to be done by turning the burr clockwise after you have removed the parts that we mentioned earlier. Now, this is important because this burr can be very, very tight and difficult to remove using just your fingers. And that's where we're going to use our handy hammer driver. Now, we found that a hammer driver is best for this because it's going to, del to deliver the most torque needed in order to be able to remove that burr. In conjunction with that, we're going to use a 15 16 socket. And the important thing here is that this is going to be a deep socket. That's because this socket is going to fit over the burr. So once we know that our socket is going to fit properly over the burr, first we'll put our socket into our hammer drill. Nice, huh? Now, to protect the burr, we're going to place a cloth or a thick napkin, something that will allow us to protect the burr because we're going to be otherwise have metal on metal and that could potentially damage it. So cover your burr just ever so slightly. Now, important part of this step, make sure that your hammer drill or your driver is set into the mode that you would use to drill something into the wall. You don't want to use the mode that you would use for removing something such as a screw or et cetera from the wall. You want to use the forward mode on your driver. This is very important because you want to make sure that you get it right when you're removing the burr so as to not damage it or tighten it any further down onto the shaft which it's connected to in your grinder. Now take your hammer drill and socket, place the socket firmly over the burr, and start to remove the burr by going slowly. Hold down that trigger on your drill, don't engage it fully, just hold down a little bit. Give it a few tries and you should start to find that that burr will start to loosen. If it doesn't, you can use that drill a little more heavily and push the speed up, but don't be too heavy handed on it at first because if you give yourself a little bit of time and you're careful, you're going to find that your burr has loosened up. Now this could take a little more time or a little more attention depending on how long you've been using your grinder because that burr can start to tighten up on top of the shaft. Just make sure you take your time. Don't go in there and like that because you might end up damaging the burr or something else. So you just wanna make sure you take your time and slowly remove it. After we've removed our burr, we're going to remove the paddle from inside of the device. Now the paddle is this small plastic piece that's right here. You can use something such as a paint can lid remover to pop this out. You could also use a set of pliers, needle nose pliers is very useful. Anything that allows you to get down and inside of there can grab onto that paddle and remove it. And you're also going to find that there's a small felt washer down here and you want to remove that as well because we're going to replace this. Again, because we have the burr out, we might as well go ahead and maintain our machine and replace anything that could potentially wear down over time. Now we're going to replace our paddle wheel first. Our new paddle wheel has new felt just underneath it. You want to make sure that that felt sits right on this open space on the bottom of the paddle wheel. And then on top of the paddle wheel, you're going to find these two raised nubs. These are important because these are going to interface with your burr. And this is how the burr sits on top of the paddle wheel 
and moves in tandem with it. So you want to make sure when you're placing your paddle wheel that you keep that in mind for when you're going to replace your burr. And I'll show you just kind of my methodology for it first. We're going to place our paddle wheel back inside of the unit. And we just want to slide it down until it sits flush on the bottom of the grinder. Now we're going to take our new burr or perhaps our old burr, again, depends on if you are simply cleaning and maintaining or upgrading. And I'm going to slide my burr down and I'm going to start tightening it. And I'm going to tighten by hand. We're not gonna use our driver for this. We're just going to tighten by hand. And I am turning right now counterclockwise with my finger. And I wanna turn and just kind of take my time. And eventually I should be able to get the burr to line up with the paddle wheel. If it doesn't, you can slightly turn the paddle wheel right down there on the bottom part of the unit. That's where one of those tools that we mentioned earlier can come in handy because you can just ever so slightly move the paddle wheel around until you're able to get it to line up with your burr and stay in place. Now we'll show you real quickly how you're going to remove the burr on a Barazza Virtuoso because this is a little different from the Encore. We'll have done all of the steps that we mentioned previously up to the point at which we are removing our hopper. Now we've got that removed. We're going to take our gasket out and we're going to remove our outer burr. And now, just as we did before, we'll make sure that we cover the burr inside of our grinder. And then we will use our hammer drill set to the drill mode with our socket on it in order to remove the burr from inside the Virtuoso. And this was just a few quick turns. And you can see already, there we go, it's nice and loose and removed. And now we can find our paddle down here on the bottom as well. Slide that out, grab that felt ring. And now reinstallation is simply the reverse of what we've done, except for the fact, remember, we're not going to use our hammer, our hammer driver to put that burr back into the machine. We're just going to finger tighten it when we are done because finger tightening it will work just fine. That way we know that it's not going to be damaged when we're putting it back in and it'll seat very nicely on top of the shaft and start to tighten up a little bit as we make use of our grinder. Reinstallation is very simple. We're going to do our paddle wheel, then our burr, and remember, we're turning counterclockwise to screw the burr back into place. And we're doing that finger tight. I can tell now it's nice and tight. Again, be careful that burr is really sharp. So don't turn too hard. Don't want to hurt yourself. And remember, you want the two divots that are on the bottom of your burr to match up with the two little nubs that are on top of your paddle wheel. So you can just kind of pay attention as you screw down to the placement of the burr with the paddle wheel. They should match up, but if they don't, you can use a tool such as that paint can lid remover to just ever so slightly move the paddle wheel around until you've got it in a spot which it'll tighten up against your burr and then you're good to go. Now we're going to replace our outer ring burr. And in this case, the red marker that we have on the ring burr itself is going to match up with the number 30 that we have uh, surrounding the bottom section here where our hopper would be. So we just wanna place that and then press down until it is firmly seated inside and sitting around the inner burr. And finally, we're going to replace our gasket and our gasket just sits flush right on top of our outer burr. Just make sure that it's sitting right on top there. You've got the two little divots that are cut out of it and those are just going to sit right on top of that outer burr. And that's all you need to do. Finally, replace your hopper, tighten it down, turn it to your desired, desired grind level. And now let's test it and make sure we can grind coffee. Now it's safe to plug your coffee grinder back in. Again, wait until you've done all these parts to plug it back in. And now we'll add some coffee beans. And if we're just testing, we only need a small handful. Pop those in our hopper and then do a test grind. Perfect. Our coffee is grinding and we have maintained our Virtuoso or our Encore coffee grinder. And here's a quick power tip. If you have ground about 500 pounds of coffee, and who doesn't eventually, or if your grinder is going to be about three to five years old, that's a good opportunity to go ahead and upgrade your burr inside of your Barazza grinder. And there you have it. That's the quick and easy way to remove 
maintain, and or possibly upgrade or replace the burr inside of your Baratza grinder. We hope you found it useful. Now, if you have questions, comments, anything else, get in touch in the comments section of this video or find us at FrenchPressCoffee.com. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time and take care. So did you like that video? If so, go ahead and give us a like. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel. It's okay, I'll wait. Come on. It's all right. Awesome. Great. Thank you so much. And now for a great coffee quote. Remember that a yawn is actually just a silent scream for coffee.